Only a few hours drive from Las Vegas there are some natural spectacles that are unique in the world. Well known is the Grand Canyon which we leave out of this trip. In this trip we will visit the Utah National Parks with their bizarre landscape. First destination is Lake Powell which has an unusual low water level in this year. A few miles behind the Lake Powell is the Antelope Canyon. Antelope Canyon consists of two magnificent slot canyons located on land belonging to the Navajo Nation and is a Navajo sacred site. Next stop is the Monument Valley. When visiting Monument Valley, a visit to the Stagecoach restaurant, known from the movie, is a must. When the Great Depression hit in the 1930s, the Navajo Reservation suffered immensely. The Goldings heard of a movie production company scouting out locations in the southwest to use in films. They believe that bringing movie production to Monument Valley would help the local Navajos with much needed income. So they set out on a journey to Hollywood with their last $60. By luck and perseverance, Harry met John Ford. When Ford saw Harry's photos of Monument Valley, he knew it was the perfect location for his next movie. The Goldings received an advance payment, and in a few days, John Ford and his crew began filming Stagecoach starring John Wayne. The road Forrest Gump decided to go home. The area in and around Moab is known for its many geological features. One of the most well-known is the Moab Fault. This particular geological feature is well exposed. In fact, the characteristics of the Moab Fault can be seen from Highway 191 as you travel south from Interstate 70 toward Moab. The rocks, which form the southwest side of the fault, have been lifted due to shifting in the Earth's crust and have formed the steep, jagged cliffs of the Triassic Wingate Sandstone and Chinla Formation. The Arches National Park is a landscape of contrasting colors, landforms, and textures unlike any other. The park has over 2,000 natural stone arches, hundreds of soaring pinnacles, massive rock fins, and giant balanced rocks. It is a red rock wonderland, the sunsets are amazing.
the Colorado River near Moab is not as wild as in other places. A boat trip is interesting even if the water is not that wild. Dead Horse Point State Park is a 21.7 km squared state park located just northeast of Canyonlands National Park. From the southern tip you have a special view from 1,731 meter altitude on the more than 600 meter lower Colorado River, which makes a 180 degree turn at this point. The Grand Staircase is a layered escarpment formed in the sedimentary rocks of the Colorado Plateau in the western United States. It extends in the states of Utah and Arizona from Bryce Canyon National Park south through Zion National Park to the Grand Canyon. Hoodoos, irregular columns of rock exist on every continent, but here at Bryce Canyon is the largest concentration found anywhere on Earth. Situated along a high plateau at the top of the Grand Staircase, the park's high elevations include numerous life communities, fantastic dark skies, and geological wonders that defy description. This is the end of a five-day trip from Las Vegas to the beguiling landscape of Utah. I hope you liked it and hope that you will experience this natural wonder in person someday. And if you liked it, I would be happy if you subscribed to me. And don't forget to turn on the reminder for new videos.